Hello everyone, my name is Corey Kubrinski. I am the executive chef at Astoria Cafe and Market in the beautiful Gordon Square Art District. Uh, today we're gonna be preparing a chilled crawfish and crab salad uh, stuffed poblano pepper. So we're gonna start by uh, just going through each step of the process, there's a few steps here. Uh, the first thing I like to get going is we're gonna fire roast our poblano peppers. First step is we're gonna wanna go to our stove top, we're gonna start with maybe a grilling grate. So as we let those kind of sit there, it's gonna be again probably two, three minutes each side. And by the end of the process, you're gonna be looking at your peppers like having that beautiful char. So that's gonna take about 15 minutes. We're just gonna let those sit, get real sweat and everything. So it's gonna make the peeling process easy. We are going to start with our seafood, get our seafood poached and ready. Uh, we are using jumbo lump crab and we're using some uh, Louisiana crawfish tails uh, for this salad. And what we're gonna do is we're going to poach our seafood. This is just gonna add a nice little extra element uh, of flavor just to the seafood, but also, also being so far away from the ocean, but still wanting to use great, great seafood, it's, this is a way to kind of enhance what we, what we have to get. So I'm gonna just kill, we're just gonna bring that clarified butter to a simmer. I'm gonna kill the heat. We're just gonna let it sit in there for about 30 seconds. Then we're gonna just let this chill in the refrigerator for about a half hour. We just, we just wanna get that, that heat off it so it's not, when we build this salad, so it's not so hot. Let's get to our peppers now. So now the peppers should be fine to basically start taking apart uh, and peeling off the, the, the flesh of the peppers. So it's easy enough, you know, you can just rub your fingers down there and, and get off that charred part. And that's the whole process. The sweating process makes it so much easier just to peel that extra char off. Just removing the flesh basically, again, from the meat of that pepper. Then the last thing, we're gonna get the pepper ready. So we're just gonna take those tops off. So you have, we're gonna separate the top from the rest of that pepper. We're just gonna kinda empty any of the ribs or the seeds. So now that we have our pepper ready, we're just gonna let those, sit those aside. Next up is we're gonna build our, we're gonna build our salad. So just grab a, a nice, nice size mixing bowl. We're gonna bring back the crawfish and crab that we uh, set in the refrigerator to, to chill. So we're just gonna add that in. Then from there, we're gonna take our aromatics, our vegetables, we have our shallots, we have our cilantro and our dill. So we're just gonna add that to the, to the mix here. We're gonna take our lime juice, lime juice, lime zest. Get that nice acidity into the salad. We're gonna take our house-made aioli. Um, you can make it at home. You can grab mayo from the store. No, no light mayo, you gotta go for that full fat stuff. That's where you're gonna really just make that, get that creaminess into this salad. From there, we're gonna take our ancho chili powder, get a little heat onto this dish, and then we're just gonna throw a little sea salt in here for our salt content. So then from here, we're just gonna get a nice mix. I like to just do a very gentle mix because I, I wanna try to keep that lump crab intact so that when we're breaking into this pepper, you still have nice, nice meaty chunks of that crab in there. And you know, the, let's, the more we toss this, the more it's gonna break up and dissolve. So we're just doing a really light toss with that, fantastic. Now the fun part. Before I put the salad in, I'm just gonna add a little sea salt. A little sea salt inside that pepper. From there, I'm gonna take about a half cup. I'm gonna go a quarter cup at a time to get the pepper in there. So there we have our final. We're gonna, we have our pepper nice and stuffed. And now we're just gonna create the dish. We're gonna plate. So I'll just put that to the side. What I like to do, just to have a little fun here, we're gonna take some herb ricotta. I'm gonna throw that on the plate. There's that right there. 
Now to go with this pepper, we're gonna use some crackers. Uh, and I, I like these special Sardinian crackers. They're called pane de musica. But we're just gonna throw a couple, throw a couple crackers here. Just to kind of have like a little palate cleanse there. And then to finish it off, let's take some of our, our Mediterranean artisan olive oil, a nice Crete olive oil. We're gonna uh, crack some fresh pepper on top. And then, you know, before serving, we can always chill these a little longer to get them nice and cold. But, you know, initially, this is what we're looking for, a nice little summer dish that you can do out in the grill. You can do the salad a little bit ahead of time, have it prepared, fire roast those poblanos on your charcoal grill outside during graduation parties, any sort of beautiful party that we enjoy this weather, the limited weather that we have in Cleveland. So something to get outside, something to do outside with friends and family. Um, so here's a dish, our, uh, our crab and crawfish uh, stuffed poblano pepper. So please enjoy.